Kia ora. Good evening. Welcome to the show that scoops the truth from the honeypot about the people who represent the people in our parliament, what they're up to and why it matters. I'm Macy. And I'm Lily. Here was, here was panic across the nation today after the news from the law beehive the beehive of a law to ban the internet because too much time is wasted on it. Here is our reporter, Madison. Well, yes, in an almost empty house today, the Minister for Statements and Announcements declared plans for a new law to ban the internet. This could send the country back to time in terms of progress. What does the government hope to achieve with this law? Apart from making themselves unpopular with anyone born after 1990, we'll bring you more information as it comes to hand. Back to Lilia Macy. Yes, it all seems unusual. Let's have a look at the speech the Minister made in the House earlier today. This bill to ban the internet will have many benefits. Without the distraction of internet, people play more sports and talk to each other, exercise and become generally more smart. The internet, the internet is turning our minds to slush and we are becoming a country of square-eyed sofa potatoes obsessed with funny cat videos. Banning the internet will have lasting benefits not only for our children, but our children's children. And we understand the Minister for Statements and Announcement has just gone on an emergency holiday and is unavailable to the media. And what does the Prime Minister have to say about all of it? Our reporter Tyler was at the PM press conference earlier today. Hello everyone, Thank, thanks for coming. I, I want to address the... <laughs> speculation around the ban of the, the ban of the internet bills. At this point, no discussion has been made. Either way, it's safe to say that going forwards, we definitely will not be looking back. Any words on the Minister for Statements and Announcement who has now gone on holiday? This is just a hardworking minister who's gone away on a long overdue holiday. I won't read too much into it. When can we expect, expect the, this legislation to be put before the House? It'll be put before the House after we've considered the issue. We've looking, we're looking to looking at finding a middle ground which I don't think is over the top under the circumstances. One last question. No more questions. Thank you for coming. Here at On The Hive, we've heard rumblings of the government digging up that old politic hot potato of changing the voting age. Some are saying that lowering the voting age from 18 to 12 could gain around half a million new vote voters. Not exactly a small fry. After their announcement of the internet, the ban of the internet bill, we decided to see if the minister could take ta could also tackle some questions about the voting age. Packing down on the tight side of the media scrum is our reporter Madison. Yes, I am warming up for the media scrub. It's just about to happen here as we await the Honourable Minister of Various Things. Minister, is it true there has been discussion about changing the voting age? Will there be an announcement soon? An announcement is always possible. Could the voting age be changed from 18 to 12, capture the youth? Well, when I was 12, all I wanted to do was climb trees. But Minister, the question is, will it change in your opinion? Anything can change. I even changed my shoes this morning, as I expected to go for a run. Excuse me. Okay. 
Okay, the minister is not giving anything away at this stage. We'll let you know when we know something. Back to you. Thanks, Madison. Now it's over to Macy with a quick look at the political forecast based on the Eye of the Hive politic poll. Thanks, Lily. Well, we asked people what the most pressing issue in the coming election, and the results are in. 30% of those surveys that said TikTok should be a compulsory subject in schools. 45% said climate change. 15% said house prices, with 10% saying they did not know. And now, to the latest political opinion poll, the Square Party. Tracking at a healthy zero up by two, the Peer Party with five, the Beer Party at one leader, and the Swag Party nil at half time, with 15% still saying they did not know. So at this stage, it's fair to say that this is still anyone's election. Back to you, Lily. And that's another day in Parliament. They say a, long, a week is a long time in politics. All the more reason to keep an eye on the hive. Good night. Good night.